This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we bring you the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld, along with our co-host, Shelly Brown, and we've been selling homes here in Southern Nevada since 1988. Shelly and I are also very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. That is a national network of local real estate professionals delivering timely, balanced truths about local market conditions. With us in studio, we have Forrest Barbie and John Ingram, and we're talking about uh, home ownership and the lack thereof uh, right now in our market and the in the United thereof. States. Exactly. One of the things that we've seen in the last few weeks is we had this election, and uh, uh, we have got a whole new federal government now, or starting right. next year. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's questions of what does that mean for home ownership. And you've seen, you've been watching trends in home ownership for a long time, and you've seen some things. I have. In fact, it was not too long ago, NAR came out with their own statistics that said that the rate of home ownership is the lowest in 51 years. That takes us back to 1965. What's remarkable about that is that's when we began tracking that number. And so I went out to the um, uh, Federal Reserve Bank of uh, St. Louis, and I pulled stats and charts that they've been keeping for a long time and it confirms exactly what NAR and, and Laurentian is saying. And NAR is the National Association of Realtors. Realtors right? Yes. But I think there's another piece of this. When I went and dug deeper and I started taking a look at, okay, it has credit tightened up in, in a manner that's absurd. I vote yes. Yeah. I, th- I, I think, think you do. would because yes. Yes. I, I've got a couple of charts that I picked up and I put on my blog showing that literally for the last eight years the, the credit has tightened to the point where you almost have to prove to the bank you don't need a loan. Credit is as right. tight now as it was in 1979, 1980, when interest rates were 18%. None of these programs, none of the people in place have done anything to either get credit loosened to a proper point. I mean, we don't want to go back to where we're fogging mirrors right. and, and right. you know doing bad loans. But at the same time, uh, the entire risk of loan now is, is taken off the back of the lender, and it's the poor, hardworking American public that's, that's suffering for the sins of these uh, of the banks. So how's it going to get fixed for us with the new administration? Well, and this is where I, I, I certainly agree with Lawrence Yoon. He, he's looking at this and saying, okay, we need reforms in Dodd-Frank. Mm-hmm. We need reforms in TRID. We need, mm-hmm. we need to get this uh, unconstitutional CFPB organization reorganized to where the government has some control and oversight of it. And this may blow some minds out there, but the way the CFPB is set up, A, they have the ability to draw funds directly from the Treasury with no permission from Congress needed. So they don't have to go to Congress and get funding. They don't have to play nice to anybody. Right. So they're able to draw the funds, whatever they need to run their program uh, as much as they need. But that, and then I and then I I thought their sole source of income other than that was fines. That is true. They, anything they find, they, it goes to them right. to spend however they see. So the shift has gone from being focused on the transaction and what the buyer and seller are trying to accomplish right. in it, right? And, and instead, it's now micromanaging the lending process on the buyer side, right? So the whole transaction's gotten lost in the sauce, and they do. They've got unlimited abilities to f- virtually unlimited abilities to fine with uh, virtually no regulation. Well, TRID's an issue too, mm-hmm. but, but you've, you've, got a, you've got an imbalance and you do not have a level playing field between the mega banks and the small banks because of the compliance cost that the small banks are under makes it extremely costly for them to do business and in, in, they should be able to compete. This is one of the things that I can't, I can't agree with you more. I mean, I, to me, I completely agree that the big, the big banks involved uh, basically gobbling everything up mm. and, and, and taking charge of this process, basically making it easier for them and very mm. difficult for small banks. Correct. I think that's a problem, and that's something we address. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now with hosts Harvey Blankfeld and Shelley Brown. Please tune in every Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on News Talk 720 KDWN.